Hey, check this out. Oh, what's she doing? Huh, I think she's hey. eating the nuts. Hello guys, Life Hackster here. Well, summer is here and you are probably planning on going out of town or even out of the country for a vacation. And most of you will be staying in hotels, Airbnb, or timeshared properties. One thing I want, especially when we stay in a hotel, is to have something set up so that I know when housekeeping comes in and keep track on what they do or if somebody comes in our room when we are not around. This is one of those just-in-case scenarios. So I'm going to show you guys how to set up your Wi-Fi camera and use it to monitor your hotel room. And this is using the hotel's Wi-Fi. Also, something that you need to know is that most brand-named Wi-Fi cameras will not let you set them up if the Wi-Fi network has no password or uses a browser to log in, which most hotels do. So for this to work, you will need another device, which is basically a mini router that will act as a repeater that you set up using your hotel's Wi-Fi. And you set up the camera using the router's Wi-Fi which you will be setting up with a password. In this setup, I will use my Wisecam just because it is the cheapest and also the most versatile 1080p Wi-Fi camera around. And I'm pretty sure you can set up other brand of Wi-Fi cameras as well. The mini router that I will use which is pretty inexpensive also is the GLI Net which is around 26 bucks at Amazon. The good thing about this mini router is you can set it up using any free or public Wi-Fi. And it will add a layer of protection for your devices because their connection will go through the router, which you will set up with a password. The router has other uses like setting up a VPN connection or use your 3G, 4G modem and more. So it is worth the investment. I have reviewed and made a few videos about the Wisecam and one of them is that you can also set it up without Wi-Fi but using your phone as a hotspot which can be another option except that you need to leave your phone with a camera which is not ideal in our hotel scenario unless it is an extra phone that you don't use. I will link that video in the description down below. Now we will just do a quick unboxing of the GL iNet mini router. We have a user guide. We have the micro USB cable. It doesn't come with a power adapter, but you can plug it in any USB slot. Then we have the mini router itself. Status lights on top. On one side, we have the USB slot, reset button, and a slider switch and an air vent. On the other side, we have the WAN and LAN ports for wired option and the micro USB power port. In our setup, we just need to plug in the router for power and everything else is wireless so you don't worry about the other ports and switches. Time to set this up. Both camera and the mini router are 5 volt USB powered. So in where I'm going to set it, the hotel's radio clock has two USB ports, which is what I'll use. First, we need to set up the router. Plug it in and wait for a few seconds until it broadcasts its Wi-Fi signal, which you will need to log in. Type in the default password. When connected, type in 192.168.8.1 in your browser to access the router settings. You will get to the main web interface and you need to click the repeater tab which it will automatically search for SSIDs. With this hotel that we are staying at, it has no password, so I'll leave it blank. Click Submit. Then my hotel's Wi-Fi will open a browser, which I need to click OK to proceed to be able to use the internet. Now the mini router is set up with my hotel's Wi-Fi. I can now use its Wi-Fi network to use my internet with my laptop, tablets, and phones to have more security. Now time to set up the Wisecam. Plug it in and open the app. And click the three dots on the upper right corner. Click Add Product. Choose Wisecam. Push the reset button at the bottom of the camera until you hear Ready to Connect. Click Next and it will populate the Wi-Fi network with your mini router credentials. Click Next which the app will generate a QR code that you need the camera to read. Then click the QR code scanned 
and wait until the camera is connected. Give a name to the camera, then click Finish Setup. Now, let's try it out. Yep, it works. Alright guys, so we are in the car right now. My Wise Cam is already set up in the room. So let's let's check it out. There you go. That's our room in our hotel. And now you'll be able to set the motion detection settings. Let me see here. Event recording. And then I'll turn on detect motion so and then push notifications so when somebody goes in to clean the room we will know around what time and what they're gonna be doing now just an FYI if you want to set this up and to be in the safe side legally especially here in the US wiretapping law makes it unlawful to record audio if there's no consent on the other party so make sure you turn off the mic on the camera you can also purchase camera recording signs that you can place near the camera, just letting anybody know that the room is being monitored. Now as to the footage that I took when I set this camera first time in the hotel. The housekeeper went straight to a can of Nick's nuts that we have. Then she realized there is a camera. So just imagine if she didn't notice it. I bet there are other stuff that could have happened. So what do you think guys? Any questions? Comment down below. And I hope you liked this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it yet. And click that little bell icon so that you will get notified when I upload tutorials like this video, product reviews, product updates, comparison videos, and long-term reviews. Thank you.